Okay, so here's the deal. I'm out for breakfast with my friend Charlie, and he starts telling me about his father. He told me that uh, he grew up believing that his father had been blinded in a hunting accident. But then he starts telling me that the real story involved the mafia and the crime of the centuries, Stateville Prison, and uh, somehow even uh, the great poets of Western civilization. So I started doing research on the story, and I spent about a year writing what would come to be called uh, The Hunting Accident. So then back in uh, 2012, late 2012, Landis Blair joins me, and we begin to storyboard a graphic novel. We spent about five months uh, laying out the entire book. Uh, we ended up with 432 pages of story that Landis would then have to pencil and ink. Since that time, Landis has spent more than 3,600 hours with pen and ink crafting the final artwork, stopping only briefly to go to Svalbard for our New Year's Eve last year. By the time this Kickstarter campaign is finished, Landis will be done with the final art and will be ready to go to print. We want to print a really beautiful book so we can share the story with someone besides us. Uh, that's where you come in. We want to raise $18,000 to print a limited edition hardcover copy of The Hunting Accident. Uh, it's an incredible true story about a blind poet who must stop his son from going down the same dark path he did by telling the boy about his secret life as a mobster. Much of the story takes place in Stateville Prison. It's kind of like Shawshank Redemption meets Dead Poet Society. See, Matt Rizzo is this 1930s Chicago gangster who's blinded during a robbery and sent to prison where he learns to navigate life by reading Dante's Inferno under the tutelage of real-life thrill killer Nathan Leopold. Rizzo is suicidal when he gets to Stateville. He's blind, he's got no education, he thinks his life is over. But his cellmate is Nathan Leopold, a brilliant but murderous prisoner who decides that he's going to convince Rizzo that life is worth living. So he teaches himself to read Braille, so he can teach Rizzo how to read, and then he immerses him in a classical education. Uh, it's the stuff of fiction, but it's all true. It's an epic story that deals with father-son relationships and the temptations that lead a young man into a life of crime. Mm -hmm.